Hello, beautiful people. My name is Nayeli. Wow, that looked really bad, the whole flippy of the hair thing. <laughs> um, so, I think the title of this video is How to Change the Names, Name, <laughs> Name, Servers of a One in One Domain. Uh, I made a previous video, How to Connect or How to Change the Name Servers on a GoDaddy purchased domain to your Wix site. So if you have a domain that you purchased on GoDaddy, I'll put the link below so that way you can check out the other video. Um, this one we're going to focus on the actual one in one domain uh, because to be honest I find it a little bit confusing. So if I'm confused I definitely know there's probably a lot of more confused people out there. So this video is for you. Um, you're going to start with your Wix account. Make sure that you are logged in because from here you're going to need to access the domains inside of your account. Um, don't be afraid if it does not look like this. Um, if, it, if your domain dashboard does look like this, you're going to click on your profile picture on the top corner go down and select domains. You'll get there faster. If your dashboard looks something like this, where you have the drop down menu here and then you select your different sites, all you have to do is if you're on a site, you know, already, you can either click manage domain and it'll take you to the domain section of this website. Once you land on the domain section of this website, uh, you'll be able to view the domain info from right here. Um, if you want to access the domains for your entire account, then, let me see. Oh, that's why I can't see it. I'm in the way. Um, right here, this little tiny button, see all domains. You click there and then it'll take you to the whole entire list. So this is where you want to end up. So whichever way your dashboard looks, uh, we need to be on, on this page, the one that says My Domains. So once you're there, leave it there because we'll come back to it in just a second. We'll be adding the domain that you purchased right here. So assuming, again, that you purchased a domain on the one-in-one -one, uh, registrar website, uh, when you log in, if you are not automatically logged into your control panel, um, make sure you click on the button that says view control panel or just type in my.oneand1.com, sign in through there, and then it should take you to this page by default. What you will be looking for is this panel right here where it says domains. This is where you're going to select domains and this is where we will begin. After it loads, it'll give you a list of all the domains that you've purchased. More than likely, if this is the first time you're going to be using your domain, whether to connect it to an email or to connect it to your Wix website, you will see the status as domain not in use. So we're gonna change that. Click on use your domain, and you're gonna see all a bunch of confusing stuff and a lot of information that you may not need. Let me move my picture out of the way again. <laughs> um, here, the section that we want to focus on is the DNS settings. So click on that because this is where we will change the name servers so that they are pointing to Wix. Moving myself again. Now on my account for this video, I specifically purchased a domain uh, similar to one that I already own. So um, I have SouthTexasTrail.com and for training purposes and just because I felt like it, um, I bought SouthTexasTrails.org. It's okay, it only cost me 99 cents so not too upset about that. Um, plus it'll show you guys how to do this. Um, you'll see the domain name up at the top. Make sure that you are on the correct domain. If not, go back. We don't want to connect the wrong one. If you scroll down, you need to find the section that says name server settings. Currently, they should be set to one-in-one -one name servers 
we're going to change that. Um, if for any reason somebody told you to not change the name servers and to point it instead, please refer to the first video that I made uh, talking about the difference in pointing and uh, updating name servers. Um, Wix recommends you update the name servers. I recommend you update the name servers because when you do a mobile view of your website, it will look good. The other way, it, it'll mess some things up. So we do want to change the name servers whenever possible. Of course, choice is up to you. So your decision in the end. I'm just a Wix expert designer. <laughs> Take my advice if you want it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select other name servers. These little fields will then appear, and this is where we're going to be typing in all the name servers. So, how do I know what names go there? Well, let me go back to my Wix account because this will tell me what I have to add there. Sorry, there's going to be a lot of my head like moving everywhere because apparently I'm just in the way. <laughs> um, so, click on Add Domain. We're going to select the one that says connect a domain you already own. Once you get there, it's going to ask you, well, what website are you going to be trying to connect to that new domain? I'm going to select South Texas Trails. I already have it connected to SouthTexasTrails.com, but I'm going to connect it to .org. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, click Next. Then it will ask me, well, what domain is it that you want to connect to? This is where I type it in, southtexastrails.org. Make sure it is spelled correctly because it will try to locate your domain. Where did you buy it? I purchased this one at 1in1. One one. I select it there. This connection method, as you can see at the bottom, I have DNS uh, recommended, which is the name servers that we're going to update. You can change it here. Click Change if you need to point. We're not going to point, we're going to change. So, next. Once you click next, it'll actually tell you what the name servers are. So, up here at the top, there's two name servers, one and two. What we're going to do is copy. You can highlight, right click, and press copy, or with your keyboard, depending if you have a Mac or a Windows keyboard. Don't know if I said that right. <laughs> um, Control C or Command C to copy, and then you're going to go to the one in one page and we're going to paste them. So we're going to do that for both servers. That's the first server name, and that's the second one. Do not click this button, it'll change it back to one in one name servers. Then you have to start all over again. So we don't want to do that. After you change the name servers, click save. It'll ask you to confirm. Are you sure? Yes, we are completely positive. So now it has been successfully updated. It's doing something. Apparently it wants me to buy more, more things, right? A .net, a .info, and a dot .more, more, more. Um, so it already updated the name servers. Uh, according to this, I think I'm done, so we'll find out right now. Let's go back to Wix. I've already did all these steps. Basically, Wix is going to tell me what to press. Here's a little arrow. Keep going to the next steps. See, it's telling you to do all the things that I already said. Ooh, there it is, other name servers. <laughs> you change it there. Click Save. You confirm. And now we go to the confirmation screen. After you click next, Wix is going to do some techy little thing where they search for the name servers to see if we did it correctly. Um, there we go. Congratulations. It is going to be connected. Now, I know that it says it may take up to 48 hours to connect to the live worldwide web. Wow, that is confusing. <laughs> to go live uh, worldwide only because, well, there's a whole bunch of servers going on all around the world and it's got to hit different places, right? So let's test it out for the heck of it. I'm going to open up a new 
browser window here, southtexastrails.org. There we go. It got redirected to southtexastrails.com. Yay, we did it right. <laughs> so now you know how to change the name servers on your one-in-one -one domain and how to add it to your Wix website, which is really, really good. Congratulations. So your next step after this, if you would like to use your domain for any email provider that you may have, you need to watch my second video. Uh, that one will show you how to uh, basically change all the settings on Wix so that way they can match your email provider. If you have any questions, find me on Facebook. I'll put my link. Make sure to like the video if it did help you out. I'd love to hear any feedback or comments. Maybe you have a suggestion for another video that you need help with. Please let me know. Bye.